Hello and welcome to this class on analog sensors and how to integrate them into Allen Bradley programmable logic controllers. My name is Vladimir Romanov with SolusPLC.com and I will be your instructor for this class. Now in this class you will learn everything you need to know in order to be able to convert an analog sensor signal into an Allen Bradley PLC and then convert it to a meaningful value. We're going to be using two of these sensors as examples. So the first one I have here is the laser distance sensor from IFM Effector and the second one being the pressure sensor from Keyens. Now in the first section we're going to start off by looking at these sensors and looking at the different features that you can program directly on the faceplate of these sensors without even needing to use anything any external controller. Next we're going to be looking at the data sheets. So a very important step in the process is understanding how to read the numbers displayed on the faceplate of the sensor and then being able to find the right documentation in order to see the values that we're going to be needing to use in order to convert the data. In the next step, we're going to be converting and essentially sending the signal into one of the cards that is sitting behind me right now in that Compact Logics PLC and then getting the right value in the digital form on the controller using Studio 5000, which is equivalent to RS Logics 5000, if you will. Next, we're going to be looking at those data values and we're going to be taking a step-by-step -step approach on how to convert them to something meaningful. In other words, if you're measuring the distance with the sensor, you're going to get a voltage from zero to 10, but you're actually looking for the distance that's going to be happening from the sensor up to your object. So we're going to figure out how to convert that based on the data sheet that we've looked at. And last but not least, we're going to be displaying some of that information on an HMI screen, such as the one sitting back there as well in the corner. So we're going to be looking at each one of those steps so that you can fully understand the process of, of how to send analog data into your PLC. Now the class is, as I've mentioned a little bit, addressed for electricians, technicians, or engineers who are working in a manufacturing environment or are interested in automation. It doesn't assume any prior knowledge. That being said, I am assuming that you're familiar with some of the computers, some of the software that we're going to be covering within the realm of PLC programming. And we will get in depth into some of the analog programming sequences. So I do want you to be familiar with some of the basic PLC programming uh, techniques and instructions. That being said, by the end of this class, I really hope that you will be using the two examples of these sensors that we're going to be talking about and programming any sensors that you really wish that are going to be sending you similar signals, be able to find data sheets on those sensors and be able to convert that data into a meaningful value. And of course, display it on the HMI or send it over to any other program for use.